Hi, today we're going to take a look at the second product sent to us by iFootage. These are the spider crab arms. So let's see what they can do. Today we're taking a look at two very exciting arms developed by iFootage called spider crab. And as we're going to show you, these are game changing arms that are truly revolutionary in several important ways. In the last couple of years, we have tested almost half a dozen arms and similar gizmos for mounting monitors, mics, lights and other small accessories either directly to cameras and cages or to tripods and heads and so we have a very firm grasp on what is currently offered by the leading manufacturers in this segment. One of our favorite arms to date has been the Manfrotto 244 micro arm which we have reviewed here a while back with their anti-rotation head. The Manfrotto 244 micro arms are pretty great and they do a very good job but the anti-rotation mechanism they use only work with specific Manfrotto tripods and heads and so it's not universal. iFootage on the other hand took a very different approach with their new arms which come in two sizes. 12 inch, this version is called Spider Crab MA56 and is just a tad longer than the Manfrotto 244 mini arm. The second version is shorter and is called the Spider Crab 3.4, which is about 8 inches long. iFootage approach to the design of the arms is much more comprehensive, not just when it comes to the anti-twist mechanism, but also as a complete solution. Let me explain why. I'll start with the general build quality, and while we tested some very good quality arms in the past, the Manfrotto 244 micro arms and the Lanparte fence are very well made, for example, the spider crab arms really stand out both visually and mechanically. The wing nut is dual sided and very easy to hold. It has substantial and deep metal rosette which ensures a strong lock and seems like it's going to last for a very long time, plus the ball joints are nice and heavy. But none of these are what really makes the spider crab arms unique. Tips are the really ingenious part and it took us a while to understand just how special they really are. Both sides have dual lever locks, a large one that you need to pull and a small one that you push. Initially this duality seems a bit redundant but it is actually a very smart safety mechanism that prevents you from having your gear fall when you open the large lock. So let's take a closer look at how these tips work. Opening both lever locks lets you remove the connector part which has a 3816 screw that you can retract into a quarter inch 20 screw with two RE locating pins that are also retracting. These added pins will make sure that if you connect the arm into a compatible mount it will not twist at all. What is really nice is that even if you are connecting the arm into a thread with no attachment for RE locating pins the tips have a rubber ring which seems to have enough friction to prevent most twisting as long as the lock is securely enough. Talking about locking, another fantastic aspect of the tip system is a very well made collapsible thick D-ring that lets you lock the tip to any quarter inch 20 or 3816 thread separately from the arm itself. This means that you can connect the arm even in a very confined space easily and securely without having to twist the entire arm which is a problem with many other arms. This also means that you can connect to any device with only the tip part so no more rotating the monitor each time you want to connect it. One other nifty thing that we discovered after using the arms for a while is that you can easily use the tips as a sort of a quick release plates and if you have several tripods with attached arms, all you need to do to move your monitor between them is release the monitor from the tip and move it with the arm to the other unit and connect it to the second tip. Super convenient and much easier than removing the monitor each time you want to connect it to another arm. Finally, the spider crab arms comes with an extra bit on one of the tips. This extra bit can be easily removed and it includes a well-made cold shoe with a female quarter inch 20. Just like the rest of the arm, this part was also very well designed with two RE locating pinholes so it will also not cause the arm to spin. At the end of the day, what does all this technical stuff mean in real life? Well, after using the arms for several months now, we can say with confidence that in any type of connecting setup we use, the arms were not just strong enough to hold 
or relevant accessories, but from our experience, when connected correctly, they stayed in place and won't twist even with no RE locating pins on the mounting part, which has been one of the biggest drawbacks of most of the other arms that we have tested to date. Furthermore, the actual connecting process is so much easier than any other arm that we have used since you don't have to turn the entire arm each time and you can lock the tiny tips separately and also do this much more tightly thanks to the thick metal D-ring. There is really not much more to say about the spider crab arms. They are, in our extensive experience, the best arms in the industry, period. There are no drawbacks that we can find, and we looked hard. They do exactly what you would expect from a perfect arm to do, and then some. If you are on the market for a multi-purpose arm, look no further than the spider crab arms. They are what you have been looking for all this time. As a cherry on top, pricing for the spider crab arms is very reasonable compared to the competition, with a shorter arm costing just under $80 and the longer one selling for just under $100. So that was our look at the iFootage spider crab arms. You can check out the full review on landsby.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos just like this. See you next time. functions as chopsticks.